action. Tell me a story of your life. Harry, right? Sally, right? That's me. I can tell. Because you said my name. Oh, okay, okay. So... Did you order already? Yeah, I thought we might be in a rush. So, um, Amanda mentioned you might like a cheeseburger? Yeah, I guess that works. Did you want something else? Nah, I'm good. So, I have it all figured out. It's an 18-hour trip, which breaks down to six shifts of three hours each. Or, alternatively, we could break it down by mileage. Um, I have it mapped out on my app. It should reroute us if necessary, but I already added stops where we can change shifts. Hey, are you on Instagram? No, I stay away from social media. Why not? I just don't. Why don't you tell me the story of your life? The story of my life? Yeah. We got 18 hours on the road to New York. Might as well get to know each other. I drank out of that water, by the way. Sorry. You can finish it. It's okay. Oh, um, so, yeah. I mean, basically not much has happened in my life, which is why I'm going to New York. So something will happen to you? Yes. Like what? Uh, like going to journalism school to become a reporter. So you can write about things that happen to other people? That's one way to look at it. Suppose nothing happens to you. Suppose you live there your whole life and nothing happens. You never meet anybody. You never become anything. And finally, you die one of those New York deaths where no one notices for two weeks until the smell drifts into the hallway. Amanda mentioned your dark side. That's why she loves me. Your dark side? Sure. Why? Don't you have a dark side? <laughs> no. You're probably one of those cheerful people who dot your eyes with the little hearts. I have a dark side as much as the next person. Really? Before I watch a show, I wait until the last episode is up and I watch that before I start it. That way, in case I die before I finish streaming it, I know how it ends. That, my friend, is a dark side. Doesn't mean you're deep or anything. But yes, basically I'm a happy person. So am I. And I don't think there's anything wrong with that. Of course not. You're too busy being happy. You ever think about death? Yes. Sure you do. A fleeting thought that drips in and out of the transom of your mind. I spend hours. I spend days. And that makes you a better person? Look, when the shit comes down, I'm going to be prepared. And you're not. That's all I'm saying. You'll waste your whole life waiting for it. I'm not wrong. You're wrong. She wanted him gone. There was no room. Looked like there was room. Well, there wasn't. Now, I'm not saying that they would have gotten married and be happy forever. I thought they were in love, and there was no room on the door. I just mean, women are very practical, and I can't see that she would have left behind a life of privilege and power behind for some guy. See? That I don't know about. The sex must have been real good for her to leave the other guy to be with Leo. Jack. Exactly. She would have found someone else in her social circle. 
Yeah, kill the poor dude and go marry some rich loser so you can live a, a miserable, sexless marriage just so you can have a little money. That's right. What? Nothing. Never mind. What? No, tell me. Sex probably isn't important to you because you haven't had good sex yet. I've had plenty of good sex. Really? Who's the guy? That's none of your business, and what makes you think he was a guy? I'd be more inclined to believe you if you were talking about a girl. At least we'd have something in common. You know, similar taste. Mm. So, who's the lucky girl then? Well, you must know it wasn't a girl, it was a guy. Shell Gordon. Shell? Sheldon? No. He did not have great sex with Sheldon Gordon. I did too. No, you didn't. A Sheldon can do your income taxes. If you need a root canal, then Sheldon's your man. But humping and pumping isn't Sheldon's strong suit. It's in the name. Do it to me, Sheldon. You're an animal, Sheldon. Ride me, big Sheldon. See, it doesn't work. That's pretty shallow. So, how come you broke up with Sheldon? What makes you think we broke up? Because if you didn't, you wouldn't be here with me right now. You would be with Big Shell. Okay. First off, we are not here together. And second of all, that's not your business. You know what? You're right. You're right. I don't want to know. Well, if you must know, the reason why we broke up is because he got jealous. Posting thirst traps? Well, no. I didn't know such thing. Hmm. You're a very attractive person. I imagine it was a bit much for a big shell to handle. <laughs> Thanks. Amanda never said how attractive you were. Huh. Probably because she doesn't think I'm attractive. I don't think it's a matter of opinion. Empirically, you are attractive. Amanda's my friend. So? So you're with her. So? So you're coming on to me. No, I wasn't. What? Can't a man say a woman is attractive without being a come on? I take it back, okay? I take it back. You can't take it back. Why not? Because it's already out there. Oh, geez. What are we supposed to do? It's already out there. Leave it alone, okay? Great. Leave it alone. That's my policy. That's what I always say. Move on. Leave it alone. Harry. What? We're just friends, okay? Great. Friends. It's for the best. Good. You do realize, of course, that we can never be friends. Why not? What I'm saying is, and this is not a come on in any way, shape, or form, is that men and women can't be friends because the sex part always gets in the way. That's not true. I have plenty of male friends and there's no sex involved. No, you don't. Yes, I do. You only think you do. What, you're saying that I'm having sex with these men without my knowledge? No, what I'm saying is that they all want to have sex with you. They do not. Do too. What makes you think that? No man can be friends with the woman that he finds attractive. He always wants to have sex with her. So, what, men can only be friends with women that they find unattractive? No, you pretty much want to nail them too. But what if they don't want to have sex with them? It doesn't matter, because the sex thing is already out there. So, the friendship is ultimately doomed. And that's the end of the story. Well, guess we can't be friends then. Guess not. Kind of sucks, because you're going to be my one friend in New York. But I guess when we get to New York, that'll be it. I guess so. Have a nice life and part ways. Yeah. Okay, let's hit the road. Walking down the street, just minding my own. Never thought that love would find me, though I had as grown. Caught off guard. By your charming smile Didn't see it coming But it's been worthwhile You came into my life Like a sweet surprise
Turned my world around, opened up my eyes, never thought.